Anyways, so we're gonna check this video you guys on check out. Apparently this teacher who is foreign from the Philippines lands in North America and she's surprised at what's going on. Alright, so let's get into that video, man. That one is my bank. Right across the street is the grocery store. This is the theater where we watch the movies. And then there's the pharmacy and the only cafe that we have in town. I was surprised because I didn't expect America because in the Philippines we think of America as we just think of New York yeah the big, the big cities and we didn't really expect that there are rural areas too in, in America I'm Charmaine Teodoro and I grew up in Manila. Here I teach um, 7 through 12 math and that is the core subjects um, pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry and algebra 2. For graduation from the Julesburg School District. This is her second year with us. My name is Sean Enos and I'm the principal superintendent. Sean Enos of the Julesburg School District, which is located in Julesburg, Colorado. Didn't really think about it until I got in that place where I knew that I was totally out of options for hiring um, a teacher from the United States. Two years ago, I had a long-time math teacher that uh, resigned and moved away from the area that had been with our district for about the last 12 years. And so uh, we ran that campaign for about three to four months trying to recruit and get applicants to fill that position. I ended up getting one application from someone in the United States. I wasn't able to recruit the one application that I had. So I knew that uh, I needed to look for other avenues and options, and that's when I contacted a recruiting company which works with J-1 visas um, for teachers out of the Philippines. Okay. Did five interviews using video conferencing, and Charmin ended up being one of the five that we felt like was the best fit for our situation, what we're looking for her to teach and um, work in a small school district. First, I couldn't believe it, and I was thinking it could be a scam. <laughs> Up until I, my flight coming here, I still, I'm still not believing it. Until Mrs. Enos, and she's the dean of students, she's the one who fetched me at the airport. That was the time that I said, okay, this is real, because they're, <laughs> they're actually here. <laughs> First, they, they thought that I'm also a student. Because so small. I look young, and I'm short. <laughs> yeah. I'm just a fellow student, like a foreign exchange student. And they are huge. I was telling my friends about the height of the students that I'm teaching, and they all get shocked. <laughs> I've had some challenges during my first year. I had some students, not all of them, like some of them will just test you. Yeah. And just see how, how far, far they can go with what they were doing. So I would say it's really different behavior wise. Because in the Philippines, you don't have to do anything. They see you in uniform as a teacher, they respect you. Here, I think you have to prove yourself before they respect you. Yep. The NWEA High Growth Award in Mathematics and Science. Nice job, eighth grade. You guys have a lot of promise in uh, both. The I think she connected with the kids really well, and she's a very good mathematics teacher. But I've noticed, and I, and of course, nice good grades are always a nice thing, but just her confidence in math. Mm -hmm. and that she's able to come home and do it by herself. Thanks so much for, for being you. here. Appreciate you. Everything you've done for our kids. Appreciate and it. Yes. <laughs> and, you have a and you have a wonderful summer. Thank you. So you're finishing your second year with uh, our district. 
And so did the second year uh, go a little better than the first year? Do you feel more confident and at home? Very so, smooth this year. Because last year I had some classroom management issues with some of the kids. And this year it's very different. Would want to stay. Okay. And do you know what that process looks like to be able to extend the visa? No, I will probably do some research about it. We'd love to have you back. You've done a great job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. You too. We're in a area here where all the school around us no are small racking. districts um, of two, three hundred kids, and I talk to other superintendents and principals, and in the state of Colorado, even in our neighboring states, and. Uh, hiring and recruiting teachers is a big task and uh, a difficult task to acquire those folks to come to a smaller school and community to teach and live. Yeah, I can imagine. Must be hard because they want to live in the big states, the big countries, like the big cities. I think I'm comfortable living here now, so I am planning to stay for as long as I could. She's, she said she's shy. <laughs> The challenges are it's difficult to, f to find friends of my age with the same interests. Bye bye. But again, I'm just lucky that I, am, I have a host family with me who has been helping me. <laughs> I had a stipulation. How old is she? She didn't really say how old she is. That, you know, if it wasn't working out, mm -hmm. you know, by yeah. Christmas time, you know, we were going to change the situation. And I think she asked me around Christmas time, and I go, oh no. There's no problem. Change the situation. Did you hear that? Like, if things weren't working out, the problem. When she says that, they're gonna kick her out. That's pretty much what, what I'm getting. That's the vibe I'm getting. Let me know what you guys think. She's part of the family. Mom had fixed a meal. I had fixed a meal. Charmaine had fixed a meal. That you know, we just kind of rotate around. I usually eat rice because I can still get that here. Finding the ingredients is also difficult. There are some vegetables that I can't easily find, so I can cook some of the food that I want. From Manila, adobo. The food, because, <laughs> well, when you eat it, it makes you feel at home. Because you can only eat that. I mean, that the taste of the food will feel like home. Must be boring, though. The only times that you would probably feel loneliest is during your birthday uh, and Christmas. Yeah. yeah, that's facts. That, that That's one thing I would think. Loneliness between birthdays and Christmas because she probably misses home. And the Filipino people are very big on family, right? All right, anyways, I'm out. Bye.